Good morning. It's uh, Wednesday, November the 9th, and uh, we're out here trying to finish off the um, hoop house. So what we're going to be doing is uh, putting wiggle wire on the bottom. So pulling that piece tight and then doing exactly the same thing on this side. So we're pulling it tight. And then what we'll be doing is uh, inserting the steel rod that you see there into uh, the plastic and wrapping the plastic up. We're not going to actually use the uh, opening materials. Uh, we'll wait until next spring for that. And then we have to finish off the front door. But before we can finish off the front door, we actually have to bring the chicken coop, the chicken chaw from over there, um, into the uh, hoop house because this is where the chickens are going to reside for the winter. Anyways, so that's what we're up to. Uh, I'll keep documenting it uh, using the other camera and uh, we'll come back and give you a shot as to what we've been able to do when we finished. Okay, it is, what time? Probably two-ish, two, right on. Okay, so this is what we've been able to accomplish today. So I think we've got, for the most part, without some minor details, the entire greenhouse is up and functional. So we've got wiggle wire, across the entire top, across the bottom, in two locations. We decided not to use the roll-ups at this point, but they're installed, ready to go. As soon as we put the other pieces in, we've got wiggle wire all the way around and across the bottom of the back. And then this side is a duplicate of the other side. Uh, there's a piece of wiggle wire that needs to be cut yet. And you can see that there's some some slack in it, but it's pretty good. 
if I say so myself for the first time of doing this. And inside you will find our chickens. They have found themselves a new home. And it's even starting to smell like barnyard in here already. Settling down and having a nap. Sort of half and half. And about five of them over there. And five or six over on this side. I'll have to make sure that they get some greens and some other foods, etc. So they've got clean water. We'll be taking the uh, the food out of the actual um, chicken chaw at night because they won't need food when they're sleeping. Um, and we've heard some indications that uh, um, others have noted some issues with heart, uh, primarily in uh, meat chickens at this point, but uh, we don't want to take any chances. Anyways, so the, the interior seems fairly secure. I hope that it's going to last, you know, a good five years or so, something along those lines. And we'll see where we go in the next little while. So this is the adventure. There is no lock on the door at this point in time, but uh, we will get there at some point. And there is a little bit of grating down there to allow for some fresh air to actually uh, get in and out of the location. All right, so I'm going to wrap this up and uh, you'll probably see this uh, tomorrow sometime. Anyways, see you soon.